For decades, he oversaw some of the biggest cases in the city. Former Manhattan District Attorney Robert Morgenthau has died. His career was marked by high-profile prosecutions, including the case of preppy killer Robert Chambers. He was sent to prison for the 1986 murder of Jennifer Levin. But not every case ended with a conviction, among them the acquittal of mob boss John Gotti in 1990 and the 1979 disappearance of Aton Pates did not lead to prosecution then. In 2002, he threw out the 13-year-old conviction of the young man known as the Central Park Five after DNA evidence led to another man. The Central Park Five were exonerated after spending time in prison in the brutal rape of a woman jogging in Central Park. Their sentences ranged from six to 13 years behind bars. Tonight, CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has more on Morgenthau's life and complex career. It's hard to sum up a life of nearly 100 years, especially that of Robert Morgenthau, a Navy veteran, a prosecutor, and a philanthropist who lived a life of public service. The 99-year-old made history as Manhattan's longest-serving district attorney. Our system of justice is based upon the belief that no man can escape answering for his actions. Staff referred to him as the boss, and that he was, spending more than three decades jailing criminals from mobsters to murderers until he retired in 2009. Prior to that, he served as U.S. Attorney for New York Southern District during the Kennedy and Johnson administrations. Subway vigilante Bernard Getz was one of his most notable prosecutions. He also got a conviction in the case of John Lennon's killer, Mark David Chapman. On top of that, Morgenthau developed a reputation for going after white-collar criminals, a reputation so strong he became the inspiration for Law & Order character Adam Schiff, played by Stephen Hill. Outside the office, he was a family man, father of seven. Morgenthau lost his first wife in 1972 to cancer. He remarried Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Lucinda Franks. Together, they appeared on CBS2 in 2014 to talk about her book, which gave a new view on the man she knew differently than the public. I wanted people to know his foibles, his strengths, his goofiness, his singing, everything he does at home that make him a real person. Morgenthau's wife said he passed away Sunday at Lenox Hill Hospital after a short illness, just 10 days shy of his 100th birthday. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.